Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to install and run Laravel on Azure. We are going to enable support for queues and remote database. So our first step is to create a web app. Then we are going to create a separate database, a separate service for the database. Then we are going to update our web app so that at each restart, at each server restart, it updates few configuration files for the PHP, for the Nginx, etc. Then we are going to uh, make a custom GitHub action workflow and we are going to see how to add secret keys to the actions. Finally, we are going to deploy our project. What you are seeing here is an already live project that is running on AWS. However, I'm going to replicate the same project on Azure. And as you can see, this has a database and it has a newsletter subscription, which runs a job in the background, a queue. So let's go to the portal of azure.com and we are going to create a new resource. I will create a web app. For the resource group, I will just call it divpointed.rg. Okay and for the instance details on the name i will just say they've pointed and on the publish i will choose the code because this is not a static website and and my solution is not containerized and i believe the code is the best option that you can go with for php i will choose php 8.1 the PHP version depends on your code. The minimum version of PHP is uh, 8.0. There is no support for 7.4. And for the region, I will check mine. I am in UAE. As for the pricing plans, I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to delete it uh, after I'm finished with this tutorial. As for the zone redundancy, I'm going to keep it disabled. But if you are running an enterprise level solution, uh, please enable it. It's, it's better to have um, your application redundant. Next, the deployment. A month ago, this was disabled by default. You couldn't enable it. Basically, this is asking you if you enable it, which I'm not going to do. But if you enable it and you select your repo, and I believe this is the one and you connect it with your branch you can see here there is a configuration file this will be put to your solution this will be pushed to your uh, repo on the main branch the one you selected here and once you create the instance or the web app it will add uh, it will run the github action behind the scenes however I suggest that you don't do this. If you want, you can you can keep it, you can copy the content. Just keep it somewhere on the clipboard or on a notepad. But I don't advise you to do that because this will take about 20 minutes to uh, complete. So I suggest that you disable this. Okay. So I'm going to leave these as default. And for the tags, I like to add the tags because they are they keep things organized here on the review you can see the estimate and a few things about your application I will create so it took maximum two minutes now let's go to the resource if you click on the default domain you can see the default page that comes with Azure web app now the next step is to create MySQL database so I will go to resource MySQL this is the one that I'm going to choose Azure database for MySQL let's hit create I will choose flexible server here I'm going to choose the same resource group that I created for my web app and for the server name I will say div pointed DB the MySQL version 8 
I will leave this as for development or hobby but for your project be careful what you choose I will not enable the high availability MySQL authentication only so this is basically the username and password that you will get so I put my own username and password so for the networking I will set it as public but public doesn't mean it's available for everybody no this is available for your research group and you can have your own firewall rules and you can allow uh, your own IP or all the IPs range of all the IPs and then you can once you finished the, um, the, um, the deployment you can come here and remove this rule so I will choose this first I want you to notice here that this con supports the encrypted connections and we are going to talk about this later for security I will keep it as it is for tags I will do the same environment it's production project it's blog review I will create now I will go back to my app service that div pointed this is basically the web app and I will go to explain a few things first before we dive in into the deployment so if you go to SSH and the development tools SSH go you need to make notice of one important thing here is that anything outside home is not persisted meaning anything that is sitting outside the home directory is going to be deleted at every server restart and this is important to know because our nginx configuration lives outside the home directory our php configuration lives outside the home directory so this is very important to know so i will go back here again to the web app and i want you to go to the configuration as we all know in laravel there is a .env file but when you deploy to azure web app you don't need this file at all you don't need to copy this file to begin with this file doesn't need to exist at all what you need to do is to come to the configuration file and you can add your environment files here you can just add application setting and you add for example the app name and you call it whatever you want okay now if you go to the general settings there is a startup command this is basically a file or you can put here some commands but I advise you to have your own file that is uh, inside the home directory and this file will run at each system uh, reboot and the best practice is to have it like this home slash home slash start up dot sh basically at each system restart the server will look for this file and executes it so I will save my configuration here and at each time that you save this you will notice this is going to restart this is again one of the things that you should be aware of that each, each time you change an application setting or in the general settings or you manually reboot it or you make uh, code changes and you push this is later but this means that there is a system restart now you can see in the home directory I have uh, a site and inside the site you will see that there is a www root and this is basically the you can see the hosting start .html. this is what's there on the server now as I said we need to put at our home directory a file that's called startup so to do that you just say vim and startup I am in the home directory by the way and here you add your files uh, sorry your commands and they have paired a uh, gist file 
that has everything that you need to make this because it's not just one file it's multiple files but the most important one is the startup so I will copy all this I will come to my uh, startup file paste and let me explain this on the file itself on the gist it's easier so the first thing nginx configuration copy it, then php copy it, then if you have some um, packages that you need to install here for example I am uh, installing packages to enable webp file conversion then I am installing a supervisor to enable um, the worker then I am doing my own laravel worker.conf the configuration for laravel worker and as you can see this sits also outside the home directory then we perform nginx restart supervisor restart and again if you don't have a queues you can just remove the supervisor things here and later at 26 until 43 these are basically uh, php artisan commands i am going to do one change here i will put seed uh, because this is like a staging thing and finally uh, if you notice how to run the worker this is how you do it you just use the no hop and end it with an and so this uh, basically runs in the background because you need the worker to run in the background so back to our file uh, as i said i will just make one small change here instead of php migrate i will say there's the seed as well then i'm going to uh, write the file so we have our startup command file now we need the nginx configuration i will call it just default and i will go to uh, this one i will copy and paste again this is if you go to laravel deployment you will see a similar one here i just added a few things from uh, the default that came with web app and i will just write the file then i will create a new file for php data ni So I have created all the files, it's fi four files and you have to remember that the file naming is important here because I am copying default, I am copying php.ini and I am copying laravel-worker.conf. Now remember when we created the MySQL service it was mentioning that it's encrypted. Now we have to reflect this on our config file of database i will duplicate this line i will comment the first one just for reference and instead of ca it will be key and i will just make the environment also the same key i will save this however i still need the key for the key you need to download it from microsoft so i will search for azure baltimore cyber trustroot.cert or bim i'm sure you can find it you just go to this documentation and here is the file so you just download now this file i will copy it into my solution so i pasted it here into my project folder as you can see i have it here also now it's time to make our environment file and basically it's in the configuration under uh, the application settings so i'll add each key and value into this application settings while i am editing the environment file or the application settings i needed the server name of the database so this is the one i forgot to copy it you can always come back to the service you created and copy the host so this is the host port it's the same and database and database i will create it later this is the username and this is 
the password okay I keep the app key to do that later also so this is my settings I will copy it come back to the app service itself on the configuration file I am editing using the advanced editor I will paste all my settings here okay so I have all my keys uh, ready I will hit save continue now to create the database um, I will connect to Azure Data Studio but you can use whatever uh, you want but this is the one that I am using I will create a new connection it's a MySQL connection it's an extension that I installed also to Azure Data Studio server name authentication it's password so this is the user this is the password remember connect so it's empty basically there's no database so I will create a new one it's the same one that I am using here and the UTF I like to use the general CI create so I have that it was ready now let's move to the github actions and the workflow and how to create it so first we need to connect our github account with the web apps so I will go to the deployment center I will in the settings I will connect I will choose my source to be github this is my source and if you don't have the github account uh, already connected you can connect it from here there will be a sign in button and once you do that um, I suggest that you wait maybe 15 to 30 minutes before you continue the reason I'm saying this is that because previously I faced a challenge as you can see this is my previous recording and it was showing me some errors so the solution was just to wait for 15 minutes to 30 minutes after you just sign in and uh, it will work fine again this is only the first time that you connect your account with uh, with azure.com now I will choose my project I will select my branch and here you will see a configuration file so I will copy its content if you notice that the file path will be dot github slash workflow slash main div pointed dot yaml so what I will do is a similar thing but instead of relying on Microsoft to do this because I don't want this this will take 30 minutes 20 minutes at best to deploy and we don't want that so I will go back to my solution here I will create a new folder I will call it dot github then I will create another folder called workflows and inside I will create my own YAML file and this is going to be main deploy dot YAML and I will paste the content so this is going to be build and deploy PHP app I'll say what it's Laravel to Azure web app and on push to main then the jobs that will run it will use github actions version 2 and this I will change it to change to version 3 then uh, it's going to use PHP 8.1 then it will check if composer is installed and then it will do the composer thing the composer install and by the way this is on github actions it's not on the server yet so this it's just building the file and then it will upload it to github action as an artifact this also I will change it the actions upload artifact I will change it to version 3 and the download artifact so I'm here in the on the deployment I will change it to version 3 and for Azure it's version 2 yes and we need to add two more steps so 
on the build step or on the build job right after the com the composer is uh, installed and before the upload artifact because this basically when you say uh, deploy when you say upload artifact it, it will upload thousands of files uh, separately not as just one file so what we are going to do is to um, so here I will say zip the application files and as you can see I will add the zip dash r php uh, app dot zip and but I will call it release just to make things clearer making a small change here by adding the star we add another step for uh, unzip artifact now here you will notice that I have secrets and this is for um, the publish profile we will come to this later I remember that I am using one um, package called Laravel Nova and it requires uh, an authentication so I need to add its configuration just before the composer install so here this is the step I'm going to install the Laravel Nova dependency so here I will install Laravel uh, dependency and I am using the Laravel Nova secret and to add the secrets you can go to your solution you go you go to your github repo and inside your repo, repo you can add in the settings go down to the secrets and variables actions then here you add a new repository secret i created two now i'll create another one if you remember that's for the publishing profile from azure web app so i will create a repository secret and this one i will call it similar to this one this is very long so I'll just remove this I'll copy paste and the secret now for the secret I will bring it from the publishing profile in the web app you can see download publish profile I will download this is the content I will copy it and paste it into the secret now my deployment YAML file is ready the workflow is ready so I will save and push it now it's pushed you will see it on the repo now I'm going back to the deployment center I will refresh everything I will not save anything here and here it's a little bit different because it's either telling me that I'm going to create a new workflow or use the existing one and this is what I am going to do I'm going to use a workflow that I have so I will save if I go to the github actions you'll see it failed and the reason for that is that probably I put the wrong credentials for Laravel Nova so I will fix that Now there's something wrong with the upload I believe I made a mistake here it shouldn't take all of the files here it's uploaded the release successfully but it's uploading each file there is over 13,000 to be uploaded so this is so there is something wrong here let's figure it out yeah here I missed this so here I need just to say release to zip so I will cancel this workflow we'll push another one go back to actions so now you can see there is there is only one file to be uploaded and the build is successful now it's the deploy so it is completed now under five minutes and if I visit this link it will be um, of course it will not work still so I will just go back my browser if I do this it will be it's not going to be working now one thing that is still remaining here I will refresh this console page and 
I will cd into our application installation directory so our files are here so list them you can see files are here now one thing that is still we haven't done is the key of the app so to do that we run php artisan key generate dash dash show and here i'm going to get my key copy it back to our um, configuration settings on the web app the app key needs instead to be to do i will replace it with the key itself that we just got and save another thing is the app url i believe i have it paste this one i will save so if it's not working let's try the startup command itself run as you can see here the connection is using insecure transport uh, this is basically because I forgot to add the uh, remember that Baltimore BIM file. I forgot it I forgot to add it to the environment file. So let's do that. So I'll include a new app. Uh, so we'll add a new application setting. It's in database config. It's this one. paste and here you need to add the path so it's slash home slash size slash w root slash and i will copy name from here it's going to be the same name paste and yeah save so again this is going to restart the server so it's still not working. Let's check ag again the startup. I believe I have something wrong with my startup file. Sorry. Yeah, this one. Sorry about that. And uh, it should be default because I remember I named it default, not engine x default. So. I was telling you to be careful <laughs> with the names I fell in that trap okay so I will restart the server manually from here just to restart so I will try again the startup command let's see also did I miss anything else okay it's another mistake that I did here if you notice it's in the migrate I said seed but the first time it was already seeded so the the second time it's adding the same username and email etc so it's breaking there so insert fresh so we restart again let's try again the startup from the terminal So behind the scene I allowed the release info change um, that's something you don't have to worry about so I will start it up again let's see yeah now it's working now this is finished let's see I believe we have of course some errors but it's mixed content now these errors to solve them because because it's coming from http we have to solve this by changing our code a little bit so in the trust proxies this should be star all and in the app service provider in the boot method will force it to uh, you will force it to be on production to use the URL 
فورست سكيم اتش تي تي بي اس So it finished in two minutes. Now let's check our website. Let's give it some time until it's finishing. Now let's refresh. Now, as you can see, it's working. However, the images are not coming, and that's because I missed one step in the configuration because I used to use the AWS uh, S3 storage here you can use the blob storage if you want but currently i'm referring it as locally so only one thing that we can do from here if i go to the console again and to the root then we can do the something like this php artist storage link so as you can see all the images are coming and this step we can add it to the startup command home slash startup and somewhere here we add and because i already have my database now already i don't need to have the migrate fresh seed i just you just migrate in case if there's any new migrations so once this is done um I think yeah that's it um, I have my application ready so I have my application ready it's working as expected if you have worked with Azure before and uh, if you have any comments or challenges please share in the comments have a good day see you in the next one